Company Entertainment video. This is Art here with a mashup review of MC Beaton's Death of a Gossip and Death of a Cad. That is book one and two in the Hamish Macbeth series. This is a new series that I've started due to um, the fact that I got the 32nd book in the series, Death of a Nurse, in my latest Bookcase Club box. Uh, see the playlist for the um, video. It's the December unboxing. And um, the reason I started the series is because I wanted to see what the series was like without, without diving in, in, in the series. And it was recommended to me by a friend that I do it in such a way that I start from the beginning. Because apparently the series does build like any good series should. Let me first say that this series is hilarious. Because it deals with a small town UK small town police officer who is actually quite intelligent since most of his money back to his family. And uh, because they, his mother and father have several siblings and him being the oldest and, and out on his own he can survive with as little money as possible um, and he does so but he the townspeople treat him as an aloof um, not smart blundering dolt in actuality he's very intelligent and the way they come about the solutions for whatever crime is the case, which in the first two, it's been two different types of dead bodies. Um, and in both of those cases, the books were great. The premise for the first book, Death of Gossip, is um, the fact that there's a fishing trip of a myriad of people, I likened it to almost playing Clue because you didn't know who did the murder with what. So you didn't know how the dead body got where it got. You didn't know who did it and you didn't know how with what weapon or how it was done. Um, it was a very very interesting read, very funny read very down to earth read. It, it reminded me a lot of the BBC show or the ITV show Midsummer Murders. Um, it reminded me a lot of that show. Now in the second one, The Death of a Cad, uh, the dead body is looked to have died from an accident and it's our plucky Hamish Macbeth um, who, who finds proof that it was actually not an accident. It, the series kind of feels like a cross between an episode of Midsummer Murders and Columbo. Like, because Columbo in, in that sense for our American, audi for American audiences will remember the show Columbo. But Columbo was a detective for the New York City Police Department. And he was seen as a, a, a dundering dolt. But in the end, he would outsmart and outwit the criminals. A lot like Hamish Macbeth does here. I will say the audio narrator, because I listened to them in audiobook form because of Audible's awesome sale that they had going on. Half off your wish list, that was amazing. Um, because of that sale, I got these two books and I laughed my butt off with these two books. Not only are they good mysteries with good characters, a living, breathing world, a great setting, a picturesque setting, but the books are hilarious too. So I give both Death of a Gossip and Death of a Cad five out of five stars. I know these books are short and it seems sad because it doesn't seem like they are on the level of say Abaddon's Gate or uh, what's the a Harry Bosch novel that's three or four hundred pages because these books are like at most 250 pages the first book was like 228 or 232 pages. Uh, 
these books are great though. I'm going to definitely continue on with the series. However, it's going to take me a long time to catch up with Death of a Nurse because that is book 32 and I'm only on book 3. Wah, wah, wah. But the important thing is in my rating system of leave it alone or don't bother, borrow it, read it, lend it or keep it and collect it, I give it a read it. Find any way to read it, even if you have to get it from your library, or get it from Audible, or buy them slowly on Kindle, or buy the books. Do whatever you want, but make sure that this series is definitely uh, gotten to, because this is, while I would say they're not hardcore crime fiction uh, mysteries, they are, what's the word I'm looking for? They are off-beaten mysteries. That They are quirky mysteries. I won't call them cozy mysteries because they're not cozy mysteries. But they're quirky mysteries. They're fun mysteries. They're light and easy to read. They're palette cleaners. They're amazing. They're great books. And with that, for my, re for my read 100 books in 2017, that brings me from 12 books need needed to be finished to 10 books that need to be finished, knocking out two in one foul swoop. So, with, at the time of recording, there are 16 or 17 days left, and I have more done than these 10, than these two. Um, so, it makes the goal really, really reachable provided that I just keep on reading. So without further ado, I'm going to say this. I make videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday at 12.30 p.m. Central, 10.30 a.m. Pacific, 1.30 p.m. Eastern. Remember, I am taking a break from that schedule starting the last video that will go up on that schedule is December 23rd. The first video that will go up on that schedule in the new year is January Wednesday, January 3rd. But that schedule is very hard, ke hardcore kept to. Um, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you want more content. Without further ado, happy reading, and I'll see you again soon.